Have you ever been working with the perfect window layout that you had right there in Emacs with all the buffers that you want open in exactly the same window configuration, the most perfect ideal window configuration, and then you accidentally press one button or one command and all of that goes crumbling away and you're only left with one buffer open, one window and everything gone? Well, with this minor mode, that problem will no longer exist because you can always go back to that window configuration that you just had. So what is this minor mode? That minor mode is called winner mode. Now, winner mode will remember all your window configurations as long as you configure it correctly, which configuring just basically means enabling it at start time. And from there, everything just, you know, cruise in control. Just do whatever you want. And whenever you need it, just call it and boom, it'll save the day. Here's a quick demo. Let's jump into the Django configuration. Okay, so here I am in the Django source code. And let me just split a few buffers right here. Uh, that's what I want and then let me just open another one actually let me disable golden ratio mode because that's gonna get in the way of what I want to demo uh, so yes and let's just say I have a couple files like this open cool so now I have a few files open right here and imagine this is my ideal window configuration and let's say I increase you know for whatever reason I want it like this and this is the most ideal setup for me window configuration wise but what happens if I accidentally did control x1 or some other command that just got rid of all the window configuration well if we have winner mode enabled we can just do meta x winner undo and as you can see there's another one called redo so you guys are smart you guys can figure out what that does but I'll only demo undo so if I do undo tada it calls it now if I call it again winner undo it just keeps on uh, going back through the history stack. So an easier way to do this instead of meta X winner undo is just do control C left as you can see right there. So that's what I'm going to do control C left. And if I keep on doing it, it will just keep going back to the history. So now I'm all the way back over here. So how do you configure this? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Let's jump into the configuration into the handy dandy readme file. So take it a second to load and let's go to winner mode. So let's zoom in a little bit and here we go. So as you can see, it is pretty bare bones. I'm just saying, hey, after after Emacs is initialized, just start up winner mode. And there's some commands, winner undo and winner redo. These are just things so that these commands are auto loaded. So I don't have to load the package for these commands to be available in case I use these somewhere else. And which I do because I use it in this transient map right here. So when I call them via that, it automatically loads this package. Now there is this variable called winner boring buffers. It essentially means these buffers do not matter. Um, these buffers do not matter to me. Do not memorize, do not remember anything important related to these buffers. You can configure them to whatever you want. So are there more customizations? Of course there are. Let's jump into them, shall we? So let's do control H winner mode to pop out the documentation. So, let's see global mo winner mode is a global minor mode that records the changes in the window configuration so there you go so if we jump into the source file and we look for uh, let's see def custom we look for def custom we get five six matches so don't buy my keys so that just means don't do not do any but key binding ring size just how much to remember boring buffers like I was saying and there's the regex version of that so if you guys want you guys can read uh, let me make that a little bigger but as always you guys can definitely just look at the, the, the source code yourself because you guys have Emacs beauty of Emacs so next up we have the hook which is every minor mode brings it and then something another hook for when the mode is off which is interesting I don't see that a lot but it's nice that that exists but yeah, this is a pretty short demo on winner mode and I have it enabled and I think I've had it enabled for, I don't know, forever. I don't use it that often, but when I do, I am very thankful that it is enabled and it has saved me from going in a little mini rage from con from losing my precious little window configuration. But yeah, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed something. Remember, knowledge grows when it is shared. Thanks.